Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Super Metroid Reverse. We just got the spacer beam which was kind of useless with the plasma beam but it helps our percentage out. So that's always a plus. Oh good grief, don't. Yeah, don't fall and or fall or get grabbed by some things at all. That'd be bad. Oh, and hi Metro. This room is a little bit random. There's just like you got this ominous haze, and you got Metroids floating around in this meridian room. It's kind of like the rest of the hack. It's a little bit weird and off And hey, there. Raptors in Jurassic Park and good. Stop. Get off me. Get off me. Thank you. Okay, so we are actually pretty much done here. Oh, good. Good grief. Get off. Get off. Get out here. You're hurting myself. Thank you. Uh, okay, I don't need to destroy you. Come on. Goodbye, Metroid. So yeah, weird random room. Another various suit. Which, because how it's programmed, warps you up here. Now that leaves... Stop. Thank you. That leaves that door right up there. It's kind of like weird and mysterious. You know, you couldn't get to it at all the first time because the suit was in the way. So if you want to go back and try and find what's in there, I will tell you right now, don't bother doing that. That is not worth it. There is no item to collect. It's either a save room or I think it warps you somewhere. And acid. So yeah, don't worry about that door. And we are still not done with mazes. Because we've got this room full of these, what, 3 by 3 it's like tic-tac-toe in here. Only with pipes and crabs and... Oh, good lord. Crumble blocks. See, I would actually recommend not destroying the crabs. Because, obviously, they can show you some paths through these pipes. And this guy is... Nothing there. There we go. We can get up through here. And be careful because there's crumble blocks around here. Okay, and where are you going to take me? Let's not fall through that one. It's going to go way over here. Oh, hey there. And back that way. Back that way. Oh, hey, I can't get through that. And apparently not through this, so that's fun. Stop. Stop touching me. Um, I... Take the fall through that crumble block. Yeah, that was that was pretty bad, but I couldn't help that one. It was there. I had to take it. Okay, where am I? Oh, come on, crab. Show me where to go. Oh, right in here. And oh, oh, there we go. So yeah, that's how you do the maze. Just like that. Okay, now coming up here is... Right off this room... Is the biggest shine spark you will ever see. In a hack. At least to date. And it's... This is... There's been a lot of shine sparks in this hack, and this is by far the biggest one. And there's treadmills on this thing, but... my block to reappear. 
Okay, go ahead and charge a shine spark, and then just shine spark across the lake. And just sit back and watch because this is going to take a little bit. It takes you all the way from the back entrance to Meridia through the wreck ship out the other side of the wreck ship and you go even further than that. This is a... this would take a... if you've ever tried anything like this you know this takes a long time to set up. And that's just for a smaller section. This is a huge, huge shine spark. This is one of the reasons you want to collect a lot of energy tanks. Because there's an item at the end of it that you can't get unless you have enough energy tanks. Just because the how much the energy is going down through the shine spark. So yeah, there's a random floating energy tank in the air here. We went across the landing site, now we're going through the gauntlet. Straight across through there. Get another missile. And we are going up and going. And we get another various suit. And if you remember what happened when we shine sparked in the gravity suit, you expect something's gonna happen this time. And you are correct. This keeps going. And we just <laughs> keep going on. And that's how you get that missile. And our ship lost color and we get the X-ray scope. So it's there you have it. That is what is right now far and away the longest shine spark in a Metroid hack. That is absolutely massive and it's really really impressive. This hack has a lot of shine spark stuff in it and all that fun stuff. It's really and it's got a really lot a really lot a whole lot of really interesting ideas. Might as well refill your energy and stuff while you're here. And save, because there's really no point not to save. So yeah, I don't know exactly what happened to the ship to make it do that. Oh yeah. This grass block is hiding an energy tank, so there's something else you can pick up right here. And actually, I think we are ready to head to the last area in the game. Well, I guess... Okay, technically it's not the last area. Terrain's the last area. But I kind of lump these two together because it's... Headed right there and you don't really have a choice to go to... except to go to Terrain after this. So if you want, now's the time to go exploring for more items. Otherwise... This blocks will be in your way. I mean, otherwise, you can just head straight to the final area. Wish to get. Or. I keep calling the final area, it's not the final area. And my tears squeaking now. So, yeah. It's in the same exact location as the original. Right down through this door. And now, this is actually going to look. mildly familiar in a way. The rooms will be completely different, but going through the doors you will soon learn that they just warp you to other rooms seemingly at random. And this is what happened to all the other rooms you couldn't enter before. They've been put into this maze. And so this is where all the quote-unquote lost rooms are. They've just been changed, well most of them have been changed and thrown into this huge maze. Which is also pretty much another influence from for so little time. This hack was way before that. So yeah, you could 
and just go around and explore. Basically. You keep looking, if you find a new room, you go in through a door, and if it's not where you want, you can find that room again, go through the other door, and see if it leads you somewhere new. And yeah, I'm back. So there is a lot of stuff to do to look through. This is not a small maze. Oh yeah, and there's items in here. And that is... I do actually really like the whole maze thing. It does not bother me at all. It kind of reminds me of like the original Zelda or the original Mario. I mean, with the idea that the implementation of it's a little bit different, but the principle is still the same. Like with Zelda, I believe it was a little maze to get through to, I think, the graveyard. I could be wrong on that, though. Not back here. But you had to do... Like, I forget what the code was now. It's like left, left, down, right, up, down, or something like that. That's not it, but... But you had to do that to get to... To beat that game. And then the Mario, you had the castles. Or there was like top, middle, or top, mi top, middle, bottom, top, bottom. And you had to go on the right one to advance. And so the idea is similar to this. It's a maze. <coughs> Excuse me. And you just have to find your way through. I mean, obviously, its implementation is a little bit different, but the idea is the same. I'm going to go back this way. Oh, here we go. So this is new. It looks like we've got quite a lot of doors to check off on it. And this doesn't look so new. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've been here before. So yeah, that's another thing I like with these with a maze sort of like this. Oh yeah, and this item here. That's actually what I was going to touch on was hiding items in a maze like this is actually, I think, a really good idea. And you don't even really have to put them in scenery or something because they may not find the room with the item in it anyway. And it just gives the player something else to thoroughly explore if they're really interested in getting 100% items. So there's another idea. So we just back here. Fun. Let's try and find some place we haven't been. Oh. Have, I don't remember if I've been in that room. No, wait, this looks different, I think. Uh, not so much. And we're back here. And actually, we are about... I think we're over 13 minutes in now, so... I think we'll go ahead and stop it here in this maze. So I uh, thank you for watching. Oh, that looks weird. So I thank you for watching, and good grief, I'm back here. <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed this, and hopefully we'll see you for the next one where I'll finish up getting through this maze. We'll see you then.